All right, Jazz Jack Rabbit 2, episode two. Here we go. Always also liked this area. Totally forgot about it, but now that I remember, this is pretty awesome. You know, again, a very different feel. Very bright and airy. And we got these fencing dudes. Oh. And these lady turtles. Alright. Yep. And again. A lot of hidden things to enter. You need to be careful about these guys. Took a bunch of hits right now. Okay. Yeah, we have 17 lives. It's all fine. Okay. This is where we drop down. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, we got a new weapon. The I think this is, these are homing missiles. So we have upgraded this. I think you can also upgrade your standard weapon. We have upgraded this and now we got the homing missiles that we can probably also upgrade at some point. Okay. All right. Good. Oh. Yep, classic one. Just go through the wall. Sometimes you can see windows that you can go behind, right? Like, this looks a bit different than this one. Well. But yeah, I just love this game. This is good. I'm really enjoying myself playing this right now. I don't know. There's something about it. I know a bunch of folks like Jazz 1 better than Jazz 2. And yeah, we can do that, but we're going to do that later. Um, I, th I prefer Jazz 2 to Jazz 1. Always have. Like, I played Jazz 1 before Jazz 2. You know, I had the shareware of Jazz 1. At some point I got Jazz Jack Rabbit 2 and that gave me the registered CD version of Jazz 1 as well. I do have both of them. Still in, still back there. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I've always vibed more with Jazz 2 for some reason. Alright. Like, some people don't like the zoomed out graphics, for example. That's something I've read. And you know, part of this is a little bit janky. <laughs> But Jazz Jackal 1 is also kind of janky in some spots, so I don't know. It's fine. It's platformers for the personal computer. What can you expect, you know? <laughs> Alright. Oh, there's another fencing guy. Come here. Get shot! Don't bring... What's that? What would you call that? Ah, I forgot the the English word for the thing. I have the German word in my head. What you use to fence. Not a sword. Like a stiletto? No, it's also not a stiletto. I'm not gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> Sorry, I know this is great television, but that's what we do here. No, it's a sword. Okay. Or like an EP? Epe? <laughs> Something like that. Okay, but there's no, it's not like a. Okay. Good! 
So my brain didn't just stop working. It was just a thing that I didn't. Hey, asshole. Hit these guys. Can we destroy the top of the lampposts? Yes, we can. Also, kind of a psychedelic skybox that we have here. Okay, is there a way to... Oh, okay, this might be something for later. Okay, and that's how we do this. Nice, okay. Alright. Golden coin... At least we're at 20, but again, it might be more. Okay, that's definitely an entrance here. Oh, bunch of crystals. That's good. Did I miss some? Did I miss any, rather? I think I didn't. Ah, can definitely get there. Oh, come on. Yeah, here we go. Oh, maybe there's nothing here. Appears to be nothing there. Ah, unfortunate. Okay. Okay, this might be again a level with more than 20 coins. I don't know. We're already at 27. And we're not gonna pick up that cake thing up there. I'm not that much of a completionist. Okay. Alright. Let's see. Hello. Checkpoint. Yeah, another coin. This might be more again. Yeah, there's another coin there. Like, there's too many coins to easily get for this to not be more. But that's fine. I think we basically got everything for now, so... Hmm. Hmm. Ah, there was a teleporter there. Okay. What is this? Yeah, 40. This is a 50 coin one. Yeah! Oh, maybe we didn't get everything. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well. I don't know, we're still finding coins afterwards. So maybe. Maybe we can get it. We just need to go back. five more coins and there's the exit shit yeah we missed probably we probably missed a golden coin somewhere that's fine that's okay again this is not a completionist play playthrough and i don't remember these levels anymore like this is just this is essentially this is essentially first playthrough territory for me okay, there's definitely coins in there oh yeah we can probably enter this from the other side destroyed that lady with a machine gun that's what you do with facts and logic uh, with facts and logic and a machine gun that's what you do that's how you show up to debates right facts logic and also a gatling come here come here All right. Okay. Ah, come on. All right. Okay. Nine coins. I, I'm obsessing with coins right now. This is bad. This is what this kind of thing does to my brain. And like, this is not a hard game, you know? Like, we don't need all the upgrades and stuff. It just doesn't actually really matter all that much. It's just the satisfaction of getting everything that, that gets to me. 
Nope. Missed a crystal there, that's okay. Okay. Alright. Alright. Good. Alright. Also, I always like the daytime nighttime thing with the first and second level of these themes. You know, there's always two levels per theme. Kind of. Well, not always, but I think mostly. And yeah, it's very nice. It's very cool. Looks nice. Oh, yeah, more coins here. Coins! Uh, way to drop down, yes. Oh, and we got the ice one. The ice weapon. Another new weapon. Very good. Um, let me see. I think we can... Yeah, this is something that we're going to probably have to do. I think we can freeze things with that. Oh, shit. I missed the one up. Ah, no, I didn't. So I believe we can freeze... We can do the opposite thing. We can freeze uh, jump pads with that. And we might have to do that sometime. Oh, hey, we did it. Uh, it's just a lot of cake. Which is good. I don't mind cake. Hey, and we got the upgrade. Nice. So is this now just faster? Maybe? It's not faster, but it probably does more damage. So that's good. All right. Hmm. Sugar rush. Here we go again. Yeah, that's what the thing was. Good. I mean, we picked up a lot of cake. So that makes sense with the sugar rush. It's just kind of an inconvenient location. We don't actually need it. Well, well such it goes. Okay, got the next upgrade. Very good. Awesome. All right. Takes forever until it arrives. Okay. Why is there this block? Huh? Game. What are you doing? What are you hiding from me? Might be nothing, actually. I think it's just... You don't have the double jump to get the thing. I think we might also be at maximum rapid fire. No, we are not, right? Oh, no. This actually... We do continue from... We did carry over our stuff from the from the last episode. I didn't actually expect that, but okay. And there we go. That's that done. Purple haze maze. Oh yeah, this is the drug levels. I remember those. Always liked that one. This is kind of like a you yeah, know purple haze, kind of like a psychedelic psychedelic music thing. But that good tracker music. Oh. And we got the next weapon. This is like the multi-missile thing. Alright. You know, got like some good Hammond organ samples here. Very, very good. Alright. Do love myself a Hammond organ. I don't know. Kind of. Ish. But... <laughs> can be a cool sound. You know what you're doing. Oh, this guy and these guys shoot. I think from their teacup. And there's a little creature in their teacup that spits at you. Right? Is that what you do? Yep, there's a mouse in there. Okay. Oh yeah, these are the disappearing platforms. Getting a little bit of Mega Man in here. Yeah, also kind of like this psychedelic Alice in Wonderland type thing. And here we go. 
knew there would be something here. All right. Yeah, but it's interesting that it carries over from um, episode to episode. That's usually not the convention in these shareware games. Usually a new episode means a fresh start, so to say. Ah, cool. All right, let's see. There's nothing. Okay. There's gonna be something there how I can get that. Let me see. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. There is something there. Question is, can I actually get up there? Hmm. Seems to be a thing from the other side, though. Teleporter, maybe? Ah. Anything in here? No. What was that down there? Oh, that's the upgrade for the for the double double missile thing. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't seem to be it. Well, I'm gonna miss out on a bunch of stuff. If I am, that's okay. All right. Do not give in to f ah. That's a coin thing. Okay. I need ten more. We found zero coins. Um, they would have probably gotten us that, but oh. This is not how we get this. Interesting. Uh, there's a wall there. Okay. Well, missing out on a bunch of stuff, which is fine. I don't care. Again, this is essentially a first playthrough in a lot of ways. What the fuck? There was something janky going on there. The spikes were clearly not out. Okay, there's more. Sorry. No, this is not how we get there. I'm gonna die here now. Because this does not work. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. There's something funky going on with those spikes. Are you... yeah. Yeah, we're always getting damaged. No matter which state they are in. Well... Uh, we lost all of our fast fire now. No, oh, that's okay. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Okay, this is the multi missile thing. Yeah. Gets us a birdie. A birdo. Bird friend. Nice. Good. Anything else here? No. Okay. That's fine. Oh, smoke rings will make you dizzy. Yeah, right. Ooh, and that inverts our controls. That's bad. Oh, and now it has uninverted. Eh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can at least stop it for a second and use that time to get up here. Alright, okay, good. Drugs, by the way, folks. Drugs. Winners use drugs, is I think the saying, right? That's how that goes. I think that's how it goes. Winners use drugs. You know, if you want to 
get somewhere in society, you have to use copious amounts of cocaine, I believe. I think that's the... That's the idea. All right. Oh, I hate those. Oh, the sound that those make. Oh, disgusting. Ugh. All right. Okay. Well. Hmm. It says we should go the other way. Always go the way that the again old video game lesson. Always go the way that the arrows do not point. Okay. Hmm. Ah, I don't like these things. Disappearing platforms, disappearing hooks. You know, I don't like the hooks. And them disappearing makes it kind of worse. Oh dear. Okay, I've probably missed a thing now. Why are you there? You're also not... Hey, that's a fake cat. A fake... What was I called? Cheshire cat? Cheshire cat? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. That's a weird word. Cheshire? 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 Okay. Oh, that's probably something there. Yeah. No? No? That's just the druggie up there? The druggy centipede? All right. Ah, uh, there's these again. There's something janky about those. Don't seem to be able to avoid damage. Not sure. This McDonald's fries, off-brand McDonald's fries, probably right. Why are you up there? Hmm. Hmm. This is weird. This is a weird level. This is a weird level. I mean, it's supposed to be, right? But, like, there's also, like, jankiness beyond the psychedelics here, which is... So I hate this concert. See? The spikes always hit me, whether they are extended or not. Why is that cat there? Just a decorative element? I don't know. That's fine. Funky Groovathon. Well, now we are in kind of like, kind of a maelstrom here. I, I do like that. This is good. This looks positively terrifying. Okay. Hmm. So, kind of more muted colors. This is kind of like the bad trip portion of the thing. Okay, we got another weapon. This is dynamite, and I think you just, yeah, just put that down and it explodes once after a while, but also after it makes contact, I think, with enemies. Put your smoke rings elsewhere, you asshole. Okay. Oh, I hate those fly things. They're horrible. Okay. Alright. Just from the sound. It's entirely a sound, sound, sound. It's entirely a sound thing. You know the thing when you are lying in bed at night and there's like a tiny little fly or something in the room? Right, it's something that you can't even really see, and sometimes it, go, goes, it just goes like <laughs> in your ear. That's the worst. I hate that so much. 
Like the very high pitched. <laughs> Makes me go berserk. Okay, there's a. There was a drop here. Drop down somehow. Or not? Maybe not. I feel like the camera was going down. Apparently not. I know it just does it when you do the butt stomp. Okay, whatever. All right. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's that thing again. <clears throat> okay, what do we have? Okay, that's just... I think that's a full healing thing. Okay, nothing else going on here. Fine. Okay. Hear that? Oh, I hate that sound so much. Okay. Oh, well that's the bouncy power up again, which we don't need because we still have it. Yeah, come on. Ah, there's a change thing again. I don't know if I want to act Yeah, let's activate that. Let's sh just for the shits and giggles. Here we go. And we've turned into our brother. Just a... Probably kind of a weird thing to happen. Uh, Flamethrower is pretty good against those. Like in real life, you know? Oh, we might actually be able to get the... The coin thing. Yes, we do have ten. All right. Bounce. Okay. Oh. Ah, come on. All right. Good. That stuff. The Hammond or organ is just cranking away. Hey, what's this? Oh, I wish we weren't jazz. Okay. Crikey. Fuck those crystals, I don't care. Okay. What does this do? Ah, okay. Right, we have like the... Hey, this actually gets us through here. Okay, that's good. I guess it's fine that we're jazz. I think this we would not have been able to get if we weren't jazz. Because we don't have like an, an upwards attack, right? Kind of need that for that. Can we increase that somehow? Hmm. Hmm. Hey! Hello, Tsibu! From Finland, oh, that's great. Awesome. Hi! Yeah! I usually stream like roguelikes. Whenever I stream retro thing, nobody tunes in, but that's fine. Yeah, they're great. That fantastic tracker music. Mod files. You know, Epic was one of the few developers on PC that actually used that. And not MIDI. So they used uh, tracker music, which is like... It's basically a sequencer, basically a sequence and modulation of sounds, of samples, and the samples are part of the file, right? They come with the file, essentially. Digital samples, not MIDI. 
So, uh, yeah. That's good. And uh, for, like... The, like yeah, that was generally how the how Amiga music worked, and with the advent of sound blasters and PCM sound on PC, that stuff was also possible on DOS PCs. But very few, very few games actually use that on PC. Like most used sort of adlib based or MIDI based. You know, like Roland, general MIDI kind of stuff. Or, uh, you know, and then everybody switched basically to sort of CD-based, track-based music, Redbook Audio. Um, and there were just very few that used tracker music, and Epic Mega Games was one of them. And I love tracker music. And that's why I love Epic Mega Games soundtracks, generally. And then they brought out a bunch of games that used tracker music. And very late, actually, until very late, like even stuff like Unreal Tournament still uses tracker music, which is awesome. I love the soundtrack of Unreal and Unreal Tournament. Many PC games made in Finland, yeah. Many of the developers had history with the Amiga, yeah. There's also some stuff like... Uh, some German games also do that kind of stuff, you know, there's some... There's some overlap there. I think that's kind of a, a European thing, right? But, um... Alright. That's sort of, like, from the big, you know, known, well-known American stuff. That's usually... That's usually... Like, Epic is one of the few that did it. I think. I don't know. Okay. Oh no, we missed some coins again. Ah, crikey. Oh well. Might not get the thing, but that's okay. Are we gonna be able to get that? No. Yeah, 20 coins. There we are already. We need 12 more, we're not gonna get that. Go, we missed some coins! Okay, that would... Uh, it might just... Yeah, it might just have gotten me the flamethrower upgrade, so... I don't think I need that. So that's fine. Okay. Yeah, 17. I think the, the rest would have been the other one. Okay. But yeah, I got, I got a huge fondness for, like, tracker music and that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's kind of my... Well, I also do like the MIDI stuff, so it's fine. Oh no, I missed a thing, but that's how it is. All right. Okay. All right, level complete. Yeah, it has... Yeah. Like, I never had a Roland back in the day, because, uh... You know? That shit was expensive as hell. So, that wasn't really a thing that happened. And I also didn't know anybody who had one. But, uh, yeah. It does sound amazing. I still, I still think it sounds amazing when it is supported. Like in those Sierra and LucasArts games that actually support it, it's incredible. Oh no, we have a water level. Right, I forgot about that. Oh well. Here we go. His father made music. Okay, yeah, well, that, that does make sense then. Okay, you know, like, I'm essentially an ad-lib sound blaster pleb, or oh, I was back in the day. 
So there's part of me who still likes the ad-lib FM synth sound. Even though, you know, like the other stuff definitely sounds a lot better, but I still like that stuff. I still like the sound of the ad-lib. Of the ad-lib OPL 2 and 3 FM synth. That's great. Sounds like kind of tinny, you know? But that's part of the charm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they are pretty expensive, like, aftermarket items. But if you have the disposable money, I guess, then why not, right? I mainly don't have the room. No, yeah. Have you seen the, um... There is the, uh... There's a pretty cool sort of emulation project for the Raspberry Pi. So you can use a Raspberry Pi to emulate an MT32. And just, you know, connect that to your old DOS PC and it works. So that's something I wanted to check out. You know, still, where's my resp Raspberry Pi? But I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to kind of check out, check that out for a bit. Haven't done that yet. Didn't really have the time to indulge in that kind of stuff. But uh, I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Because again, getting an actual roll in it is kind of like that's kind of a kind of a hassle, you know. It's cool. Yeah, I also like original hardware. For me, it's mostly like a room thing. Yeah. I'm usually not like that. It's, it's like I like using original hardware. Like I have a bunch of old laptops, for example, because they are kind of they don't take up that much space, and it's okay. But yeah, it, it's cool. It's cool to have. But if it's not a thing that you can do because of expenses and all that kind of stuff, I think emulation is fine, generally. Emulation is really good. Yeah, well... That would be a discussion with my partner. <laughs> to, but said, hey, what if I fill this room with old hardware and, you know... That's something that we would maybe have to talk about a little bit. <laughs> Again, I have a bunch of stuff, but it's okay. There is some stuff that I want to actually get. And something that I do want to do is to build like a 486 DOS PC again. I have a bunch of parts, but I don't have a functioning computer right now. But yeah. Because I do like messing around with original DOS. DOS box is not really the same. You know, because it's not a full system, it's not a an operating system environment. It's just a thing that hacks together DOS compatibility for games, essentially. And which is good, right? Like, for DOS games, in many ways, the best way to play them is DOSBox, because you can do all kinds of stuff that you couldn't before. Like, I can use modern hardware with it. I can use, like... I can use, like, actual good racing wheels to play Indianapolis 500. The simulation from 1989, right? This is all kind of stuff that DOSBox allows you to do. And I think that's pretty great. 
obey us. Yeah. <laughs> obey us. Yep. Let's do some OS2. How about that? Let's get some OS2 warp going. Now, back in the day, I had a... I had a... I mean, not a friend, but someone I knew. You know? And sometimes we hung out, but we were like close friends. Oh, Jesus Christ, boss fight, yeah. We weren't like close friends or anything, but... Um, oh dear, I'm, I'm dead. Um, who was like... Who was like 100% OS2. Like they were like... Yeah. OS2 warp. Till the end. And at some point the end came and then they had to switch to Windows, but... Begrudgingly. Yeah. I mean, that's usually how it is, right? I also have a Linux. But I st you know... Still have that Windows for, for games and for other stuff. some point if you want to play PC games, I mean, the Linux thing has become a lot better. Granted, a lot has happened in that area, but... Oh. Oh, yeah, now you get the damage. Okay, we have to destroy the small ones first, good. I don't remember this boss fight at all. Yay, here we go. Alright. You know, again, the gaming on Linux stuff has become a lot better, but it's still... Kinda still need... Kinda still need a Windows. Hey, and that's it for that. That's the... It's also... Yeah, it is. Um, that's episode two in the tank.